So in a town called Grantham in Lincolnshire, there's a high school called Walton Academy, which was an all-girls school, but now takes boys as well. Now, there has been so many reports of uh, awful behaviour here. Bully bullying is one of the big ones. There's been people physically assaulted, broken bones, arms in slings, and the teachers do nothing. They don't... Um, there's racial, actually. There's actually racially motivated bullying uh, with one particular p uh, pupil by girls, boys, older people than them and people of their age. And again, the teachers do nothing until they retaliate and then, of course, they, they, they are then penalised and sanctioned. But we're going to talk about that now, so uh, let's get on with it, shall we? So, imagine you've got your child, yeah? They are at primary school and they're going to be leaving at the end of the year to go to secondary school. Uh, thing is, at the primary school, they're racially mo well, well, they're bullied, and it's racially motivated. They're called all kinds of racial slurs, all kinds of names that I couldn't even mention on uh, YouTube, right? So, so the summer holidays come, and the, let's say that, you know they're looking forward to starting a, a secondary school because hopefully they can escape the bullies. But what happens? Many of the bullies follow them there. Obviously, they go to that school as well, and the bullying continues. One thing this did show, though, was because he was, this person was bullied by other year groups, it showed that it wasn't um, isolated just to the primary school. So this is something that Walton Academy has. This is a feature of Walton, Ac Walton Academy. Bullying is rife there. This is something that we, I'll go on to show you, and we know is true from uh, numerous uh, newspaper articles and basically video uh, videos of people bullying other people and beating them up and cutting their hair off and things like that. Horrendous. And the teachers don't do anything about it. Nothing at all. Because they say, and I quote, we do, we, we, want, we do not take a zero tolerance to bullying. Okay? Now, so this bullying goes on now. For, you've got people, um, in this particular case I'm talking about, you've got people in, that, in that, that this person's year and then you've got girls in the years above. Now, they're they're cutting people's hair off and all sorts. This is horrendous, right? So this particular victim that I'm talking about has ignored it, not rose to, the, rose to it. Weeks, weeks go by, and it continues and continues until one point, and then they snap, right? What happened was another year seven started a fight with them, right? And filmed it, which was good in one way, and that is that it showed that uh, this person, the victim, didn't actually instigate the bullying, which is what, was, which is basically the truth and what the parents had been saying for so long. The problem with this is by this time the, the victim had already received sanctions for one or two times in the past where they'd retaliated to the bullies. So it's a lose-lose scenario. So this is what happens after this. The girls in particular continue to call him the n-word um, and when uh, reported to the teachers and the staff Nothing is ha nothing happens because this is what this is what happens. The teachers speak to the girls as you would, and the girls just say, "Oh, when let's say the the word monkey was used, they use the excuse we were just saying you cheeky little monkey, you know, and then they got out of it like that. It got so bad that there's been threats to be jumped after school on numerous occasions. Another thing, while all this is going on, there's drug dealing at the school gates. There's people who go to the school that's um, involved in drug dealing. Imagine having to leave school early because you're going to get beat up. It's a promise you're going to get beat up. They've already started, so you know that what they're capable of. I mean, living in fear every day that you go to school, and all you want to do is go to school. You're not a violent person. You've never been a violent person, but you've got bullies around you, and then you've got a school and a school system that protects the bullies, so you can't do anything. Your hands are tied. And because on this one occasion that they retaliated, now they're suspended. So... The bullies win and the victim turns out to be the bad guy in the eyes of uh, basically the school. How bad is that? So Walton Academy should be ashamed of itself. They probably already are or maybe not. Maybe they don't care because I'm going to give you some newspaper clippings now. There's so many different um, incidents that go on. There's, like I said, there's some girl got her ponytail cut off and beat up, filmed. So many different... Th it's horrendous. It's like... The teachers turn a blind eye to it, and something needs to be done. So the last thing I'll say is, this, this, this is a massive failing of the school. So I'd be really careful if, if 
I'd, I'd can reconsider if you're thinking of sending your children there. Uh, I'd look into it a whole lot more because it is rife with bullying and all kinds of nastiness going on. And the teacher turned a blind eye to it. In fact, before I go, let's do a quick Google search and just see what news reports come up. Because in the local area, it's been reported on. It's a well-known thing and it's an awful place. And uh, I'll just show them up on screen so you can see for yourself. They're just some of the light ones that come up when you do a search. Really, if you actually spoke to the students there, you won't ever get a good story told. Never. Nobody has a good experience there. It's a horrendous place, like, like I've outlined for you, and I've showed you why. If you've got anything to say, if, you, if you've experienced anything like this at Walton uh, Academy, can you please put your comments below. Um, I'd like, like as many as you can get, um, as much information as possible, please. Thank you.